Welcome to our malware module. There are several different types of malware or malicious software that you should be familiar with, including viruses, worms, logic bombs, and trojans. Viruses are small applications or strings of code that infect applications. Viruses require a host application that they embed themselves in and they cannot replicate on their own. There are several different types of virus propagation techniques. Master boot record viruses will attack the master boot record, which is used by the computer to load operating systems. These types of attacks are then loaded before the operating system loads and therefore are very difficult to get rid of. File infector viruses infect executable files like exe files. They replace part of the file or the entire file with malicious code that then executes when the user runs the executable. Macroviruses will exploit the scripting functionality commonly used in applications such as Microsoft Word. Finally, service injection viruses inject themselves into trusted runtime processes. There are several different types of viruses. Multipartite viruses use more than one propagation technique in an attempt to increase their success. Stealth viruses will attempt to hide themselves by modifying different components of the operating systems. Polymorphic viruses will modify their code or signature when infecting a new system. This helps them to try to avoid detection from antivirus software. Encrypted viruses will load and decrypt themselves once they are on the victim's system. A hoax occurs when false information is provided about virus threats in order to waste time and resources. Worms are slightly different than viruses because they are able to self-propagate. There is no need for a host application and there is no human interaction required. You should remember for the CISSP examination that worms do not need a host application and that they are able to self-propagate where viruses are not. Some known examples of worms include the code red worm, the Stuxnet virus, and the internet worm. Logic bombs are pieces of code that are intentionally inserted into a piece of software that can create some type of malicious activity when certain conditions are met. These are often placed by disgruntled employees in order to destroy their work after they leave the company. Logic bombs can also serve as a trigger for loading other types of malicious software. You should be familiar with logic bombs for the CISSP examination. Remember that they are designed to activate when certain conditions are met, such as after a program is executed a certain number of times or after a certain date. Trojan horses are computer programs that appear to have a useful function, but they have hidden and generally malicious functions inside them. There are several different types of Trojan horses, including fake antivirus applications, games, and utilities or productivity tools. The benign component may actually provide the service that is advertised, or it may not work at all. Trojan horses are commonly downloaded when individuals are illegally downloading software from file sharing networks. This concludes our malware module. Thank you for watching.